Talitha Kumai, Talitha Kumai, arise, women of God, arise, men of God. Hallelujah. This is a series about the enemy plotting against you, people plotting against you. And today we're going to talk about Moses. We talked about, if you check my other videos out, it's really good. We talked about um, when Esther was getting plotted against, when Daniel in the lion's den was getting plotted against. Um, I'm going to do some more series about uh, Jesus. They even plotted against Jesus. So people will plot against you. But like Psalm 6, 7, 16 says, the trouble recoil, recoils on himself and his violence falls on his own head. Proverbs 26, 27 says, he who digs a pit will fall into it and whoever rolls a stone, it will come back onto him. So all these people that are plotting against you, it's going to fall back on them. Um, I'm going to read Esther 7.10. So they impaled Haman on the pole he had set up for Mordecai. Then the king's fury subsided. Isn't that something? The pole that was set up for you, the enemy is going to hang himself on it. It's going to be hanged on it. Okay? That's what I'm here to tell you. So that's what we're going to read about what happened with um, Moses. They came against Korah, came against Moses. Now this is deep. Now, what happened to Moses? Whew. What happened to Daniel's enemies? You know what? I'm telling you right now, you better be my friend. <laughs> they People better be our friend because they don't understand what they're setting up for themselves when they come against God's anointed. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do not come against God's anointed. You know? Look at um, Judas when he came against Jesus. What? Okay, so let's stay focused here. But um, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to set up the scenario a little bit. Korah had been had set up a rebellion against Moses. So they had been talking and plotting against Moses pretty much. Sorry, my eyes bother me just a tad bit. I'm sorry about that. But not yeah, so, uh, so that's where I'm going to start off at. Korah is trying to come against Moses, which is God's anointed. You are God's anointed. I am God's. We are God's anointed. And so when the enemy tries to come against us, you know what? We just step back and let Jesus do it. Because, see, we don't have to fight our own battles. He fights our battles for us. We just walk in truth. All right. So I'm going to be at Numbers chapter 16. Korah, son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, and certain Reubenites, Dathan and Abiram, sons of Eli, and on and on and on, son of Peleth, became insolent and rose up against Moses. Hallelujah! It says they became insolent and they rose up against Moses. How many of y'all got the enemy rising up against you? With them were 250 Israelite men, well-known community leaders who had been appointed members of the council. They came as a group to oppose Moses and Aaron and said to them, You have gone too far. The whole community is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is with them. Why then do you set yourselves above the Lord's assembly? When Moses heard this, oh, look at Moses. He was he was such a, a humble man. See, when the enemy come against you, this is showing you what we have to do. He fell on his face before the Lord. The enemy comes in against you like a flood. Fall on your face before the Lord. I'm going to read that again. When Moses heard this, he fell face down. Talking to his daddy. Then he said to Korah and all his followers, In the morning, the Lord will show you who will show who belongs to him and who is holy. And he will have that person come near him. The man he chooses, he will cause to come near him. You, Korah, and all your followers are to do this. Take censers and tomorrow put burning coals and incense in them before the Lord. The man the Lord chooses will be the one who is holy. You Levites, you Levites have gone too far. 
Moses also said to Korah, now listen, you Levites, isn't it enough for you that God of, that the God of Israel has separated you from the rest of the Israelite community and brought you near himself to do the work at the Lord's tabernacle and to stand before the community and to minister to them? He has brought you and all your fellow Levites near himself, but now you are trying to get the priesthood too? It is against the Lord that you and all your followers have banded together. Hallelujah. Listen to that. It is against the Lord that you and all your followers have banded together. So when they're coming against you and you are, we are in right standing with the Lord and we are listening to him and obeying him, they're going against God himself. I'm going to read that again. It is against the Lord that you and all your followers have banded together. Who is Aaron that you should grumble against him? Hallelujah. Then Moses summoned Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eli. But now listen to this. Then Moses summoned Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eli. But they said, we will not come. Isn't it enough that you have brought us up out of a land flowing with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness? And now you also want to lord it over us? Moreover, haven't you brought us into a land flowing with milk and honey or given us Moreover, you haven't brought us into a land flowing with milk and honey or given us an inheritance of fields and vineyards. Do you want to treat these men like slaves? No, we will not come. Then Moses became very angry whoo, and said to the Lord, do not accept their offering. Hallelujah. Whoo, this is deep. Before we got those for us. Separate your servants. Oh, okay. Then Moses became, sorry about that. <laughs> then Moses became very angry and said to the Lord, do not accept their offering. I have not taken so much as a donkey from them, nor have I wronged any of them. Moses said to Korah, you and all your followers are to appear before the Lord tomorrow. You and they and Aaron. Each man is to take his censer and put an incense in it, 250 censers in all, and present it before the Lord. You and Aaron are to present your censers also. So each of them took his censer, putting burning coals and incense in it, and stood with Moses and Aaron at the entrance to the tent of meeting. This is deep, people. When Korah had gathered all his followers in opposition to them at the entrance to the tent of meeting, Korah just thought he had it going on. He had all of these people against Moses. The glory of the Lord appeared to the entire assembly. Wow. The glory of the Lord appeared to the entire assembly. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, separate yourselves from this assembly so I can put an end to them at once. Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. But Moses and Aaron fell face down. I want you to hear that again, man of God, woman of God. He kept falling face down before the Father. Moses and Aaron fell face down. They humbled themselves. Oh God, the God who gives breath to all living things, will you be angry with the entire assembly? Assembly when only one man sins? Then the Lord said to Moses, Say to the assembly, Move away from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Move away from their tents. Moses got up and went to Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. He warned the assembly, Move back from the tents of these wicked men. Do not touch anything belonging to them, or you will be swept away because of all of their sins. So they moved away from the tents of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Now, wait a minute. Now, all the enemy now, they moving away? They don't want us to hang with Korah, Dathan, and Abram no more. But anyway, Dathan and Abram had come out and were standing with their wives, children, and little ones to the entrances of to the entrances of their tent, still in defiance. Then Moses said, "This is how you will know that the Lord. Huh? 
Then Moses said, this is how you will know that the Lord has sent me to do all these things, that it was not my idea. If these men die a natural death and suffer the fate of all mankind, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord brings about something totally new and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them with everything that belongs to them and they go down alive into the realm of the dead, then you will know that these men have treated the Lord with contempt. As soon as he finished saying all this, the ground under them split apart and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them and their household and, th and all those associated with Korah together with their possessions. They went down alive into the realm of the dead with everything they owned. The earth closed over them and they perished and were gone from the community. Wow. That's deep. Listen to what happens to the enemy who comes against our, our God, who comes against us, because we are anointed and, and we serve the Most High God. As soon as he had finished saying all this, the ground under them split apart and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them and their household, kids, everything, household, everything, and all the people who didn't want to walk away from them. Most of the people got away, but um, whoever stayed. And all those associated with Korah, together with their possessions, they went down alive into the realm of the dead with everything they owned. The earth closed over them and they perished and were gone from the community. At their cries, all the Israelites around them fled, shouting, the earth is going to swallow us too. <laughs> Wait a minute now. How you going to be scared? You was just talking against him. At their cries, all the Israelites around them fled, shouting, the earth is going to swallow us too. And fire came out from the Lord and consumed the 250 men who were offering the incense. The Lord said to Moses, tell Eliezer, son of Aaron, the priest, to remove the censers from the charred remains and scatter the coals some distance away, for the censers are holy. The censers of the men who sin at the cost of their lives. Hammer the censers into sheets to overlay the altar, for they were presented before the Lord and have become holy. Let them be a sign to the Israelites. So, so Eliezer, the priest, collected the bronze censers, censers brought by those who had been buried to death, and he had them hammered out to overlay the altar as the Lord directed him through Moses. This was to remind the Israelites that no one except a descendant of Aaron should come to burn incense before the Lord, or he would become like Korah and his followers. The whole, the next day, the whole Israelite community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. You have killed the Lord's people, they said. But when the assembly gathered in opposition to Moses, yes, they still. But when the assembly gathered in opposition to Moses and Aaron and turned toward the tent of meeting, Suddenly the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. Then Moses and Aaron went to the front of the tent of meeting, and the Lord said to Moses, Get away from this assembly so I can put an end to them at once. And they fell face down. Hallelujah. You see, you see how Moses was just humble. They still turn against him, but he's like, no. Then Moses said to Aaron, because he Moses and Aaron fell face down again. Then Moses, and, Moses said to Aaron, take your censer and put incense in it along with burning coals at the altar and hurry to the, temp, uh, to the assembly to make atonement for them. Wrath has come out from the Lord. The plague has started. So Aaron did as Moses said and ran into the midst of the assembly. The plague had already started among the people but Aaron offered the incense and made atonement for them he stood hallelujah between the living and the dead and the plague stopped but 14,700 people died from the plague in addition to those who had died because of Korah then Aaron returned to Moses at the entrance to the tent of meeting for the plague had stopped amen Amen. Amen. May God bless the reading of his word. And you see what happens to the to the enemies, to uh the enemies of God's people. 
That's deep. I have always loved that about Moses, that Moses falls on his face before the Lord. We need to fall on our face before the Lord. God will deal with our enemies. God will deal with our enemies. And we're going to fall on our face before the Most High God. So subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and share. Share this video. Um, share this video with people so that they may hear the word of God. Um, as Moses lifted up the snake, snake in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. I lift Jesus up today. I lift Jesus up on high in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus over you. Thank you for listening uh, to my video today. I love you and I bless you. Bye.